Childhood by Marcus Nutten Marcus Nutten was a Norwegian poet. In his poem Childhood, he tries to find out the moment when he lost his childhood. He wonders when and where he lost his childhood. In this quest to find the moment, he grew up. He highlights that he lost innocence and faith as he gained rational individuality. He believes that he has lost the innocence and purity of his childhood to some unknown and unforgettable place. Through his poem, the readers are confronted with the question as to when and where have we lost our childhood. The answers lead to self-discovery. The poet recalls a number of stages when his thoughts and perceptions about the world and people changed. He tries to identify that one particular stage or time when he lost his childhood and stepped into adulthood. He is trying to realize the age when he lost his childhood to find out the time when he became mature enough to understand the worldly things. So he kept saying, when did my childhood go? Let's make a line-wise analysis of the poem. This explanation will help you in answering reference to context questions as well as short answer types. You can pause the video and make notes. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? The poet is in the quest to ascertain when he lost his childhood. He demarcated his childhood and adolescence to that time of his age when he turned 11. He makes an attempt to find out the answer to his own question. While reasoning out, he shifts his focus from his physical age to the time when he started gaining mental maturity. Perhaps it was the day on which he realized that the theories of heaven and hell that he had been taught about since his youngest years had no factual truth behind them. As he matures, he understands that they do not really exist in this world. They are only imaginary places. Education makes the poet question his faith and look at the world much more rationally and with more of reason and logic. He realizes that he might have lost his childhood when he gained this rational outlook towards his surroundings. Poetic Devices Refrain is a phrase which gets repeated throughout the poem. Examples, when did my childhood go is repeated number of times and the second one is the last line of some stanzas was that the day? Both of them are examples of a refrain. Allusion is an indirect or passing reference. Example, the concepts of heaven and hell given to us as moral instructions to develop a sense of right and wrong. When did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? The poet reiterates the same question and wonders if he lost his childhood on the day when he developed a new perception with which he is able to see the adults. 
he figures out that the adults around him did not practice what they usually preached they taught others to be loving and caring when they themselves were violent mean argumentative and discourteous their behavior was far from the love they sermonized about and advocated so reverently to the child thus the child lost his faith in the adults around him whom he had so far trusted unquestioningly their latent hypocrisy became evident to the growing child he thinks that probably the loss of faith and trust might have been the major steps towards losing his childhood this is perhaps the biggest loss that he has suffered poetic device stanza 2 irony they talked of love and preached of love but did not act so lovingly the child expects the adults to be loving as they teach him to love others but their actions of hatred and violence are not in accordance with his expectations when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i chose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and my alone was that the day the poet is still pondering over the same question he starts wondering if it was the day when his personality acquired a certain individuality which set him free from the prejudiced opinions of others around him when he started understanding that his mind was his own and he was capable of producing thoughts that were devoid of any form of bias or influence now he is conscious of his own separate identity and feels himself to be different from others He is fully aware of his abilities. He has understood that he is the master of his own self. His personal experiences shape his thoughts now, and he rationalizes that this might have been the time when he lost his childhood innocence completely. Poetic device stanza 3 inversion when the normal word order of a structure is reversed or inverted it is known as inversion usually it is the subject verb word order the example is to use whichever way i choose where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know finally the poet changes his question from when to where he has lost his childhood from wondering at what point in time he had lost his childhood he now wonders where it went He expresses his regret at the loss of his childhood which was a beautiful period of his life and that it has gone to some forgotten place even its recollection has faded away with the passage of time he claims that his childhood has become nothing more than a long lost memory for him but has become the reality for some other infant childhood is a lost memory we can recall the fantasies and the moments associated with it but the innocence is irrevocably lost
he can waste the idea that innocence of childhood remains only as long as one is an infant there is a tinge of optimism in this thought at least innocence and purity of mind prevails in some form or the other on this earth according to the poet innocence is a cyclical process lost from one person it travels to another finding residence there thus adults can easily recall and seem to almost relive their own childhood through an infant poetic device stands up for paradox means contrasting ideas the possibility of them existing together is not there according to the poet childhood is a cyclical process which is lost from one person but moves on to another the idea that it is lost yet it eternally remains in some form or the other is paradoxical he feels a sense of nostalgia for the lost childhood and finally settles down with the idea that it has gone to some forgotten place and that place could only be found in an infant's innocent face He pondered deeply upon the spiritual questions of life and ultimately realized that his childhood days were finally gone down into the past of eternity forever and would never return. Childhood would now only remain in his memories. He exhibits his curiosity to know the time when an individual ceases to be a child. The process of growing up from a child to an adolescent and finally an adult is an inevitable one. There is no line of demarcation between the various stages of life. The poet begins the poem by putting forth this question to himself. He wonders when did his childhood leave him and where could it be found now? Please watch my other class 11 videos along with videos on writing skills, grammar and vocabulary. If you like this video lesson please like share comment and subscribe to my channel.